I think the most important aspect of this new unity move is that it's a major prerequisite to peace with Israel. For many years, people have been arguing that as long as the Palestinians were divided, it was almost impossible to have genuine peace and that you cannot make peace with one half of Palestine wow. and fight the other half. Now that they've come together, there is real prospect to move ahead for an agreement. We should be celebrating the fact that uh, they, they have come together and, and, and really give them very considerable credit uh, and, and to salute uh, Egypt uh, for the role that they have played. Yes, I think uh, we have every reason to celebrate, but I think we also need to continue to support this process. Yes. Uh, all they have done is they have expressed the willingness to yes. come together, mm -hmm. but they have an agenda of uh, you know, all the things that have gone wrong over these years that need to be fixed. And for that, they will continue to, uh, to, to need help uh, from, from the region in the first place, but also probably from people like us. What the uh, Palestinians need and what Israel needs and what Egypt needs is full support from every leader mm. on earth that wants peace in the Middle East. Mm. I think as elders we have to uh, try to be very reassuring on both sides. Yes. Um, yes. Still, obviously, there are a whole <coughs> range of issues on the Palestinian side that we're very familiar with. But I would also say that we have to understand the fears and try and reassure the Israeli population, yes. not so much the state as the people, that this, in fact, is in their interest. Yes. That Israel has its right to exist. It is absolutely uh, to be secured in a yeah. process going forward. What's going to happen uh, with countries that say they will have no dealings with so-called terrorist uh, organization? I mean, Hamas. A lot of people say that Hamas is a hopeless case, but they're not. I've spent a lot of time meeting with Hamas leaders. And I think they're willing to accept Israel as a neighbor and a two-state solution within the 67 borders and so forth. So it's not a hopeless case, and I believe it's a major step forward. When you look through history, there are many countries that are today independent, highly respected, that went through a sort of civil war, use of violence, until uh, the, the estates were created or it mm. died down. <clears throat> and the same can happen with the Palestinians. We saw that in Northern Ireland, where Mm. the IRA yeah. eventually were persuaded to go the political route and it was very largely also civil society that was influencing and I hope now that yeah. civil society, there are very good groups, those women we met on both the Israeli and Palestinian side, the IWC, you know, I'd love to see them feel they can now have a voice in how things go forward. Poll after poll have indicated majority of both communities want peace yes. but they should become more active and push this up the political agenda. We've seen situations where politicians have failed to lead and the people have made them follow. Where the politicians fail to lead, the people can make them follow. And we are seeing examples of this in the region today. So I appeal to Israelis and Palestinian citizens to re-energize their own involvement and push for peace. And this is the moment to do it.